Okay, here we are opening up the Ruku, and I have uh, gotten out my long, small Phillips screwdriver and removed. How many were there? Let's see, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. They look like these little guys. A couple of them aren't sitting there. And then you should be able to lift the uh, whole back panel off. Nothing else is attached to it. And in here, the blue thing that you see down in there, held in with two more screws, and coming up to this battery connector right here, that would be the uh, 3.7 volt battery at 700 milliamps or whatever they said on the manual. In fact, I think we can maybe get the camera to see some of that. We can poke in through the wires here. So, yes. Uh, at some point in future, if the battery should go bad, you could in fact remove the back, unplug the battery, and put another battery pack in there. And if the battery pack had a different connector, you could uh, splice these wires on and use the same connector. So, there's your peak inside. You can see there's a, a motor with switches to sense the positions of the arms on this side, motor for sensing the position of this of the arm with these switches on this side. There is a, a motor inside each foot to drive these wheels. Those wires come up through here. You can see the black and the white wires. One interesting thing I, I see, and, and there may be more sensors, but sitting back here in the back is what appears to be a standard IR infrared sensor for the remote control, which is an infrared remote control. The weird thing is it's sitting inside the body in the back. Light isn't going to get through the battery. I had no problem with this robot seeing my commands no matter where I stood, so it worked really well. But as you can see, the uh, plastic must allow infrared light to get through. And let's see, it would be, I'm trying to guess, geez, it's just about in this uh, waist area here where that sensor is sitting. Now it could be that they might have another one up in the head because they do. There are a bunch of wires going up there, uh, but they do have the speaker and that fancy uh, LED light display going in the eye section. So that could all be just for the light display. I just found that interesting. That if that's the only IR sensor, that's a very odd place to put it, and yet it works very, very well. So no complaints from me on that.